you know, waterproof is a term that we use in our in our work, and uh, what it really means is a waterproof bird is really a clean bird. So. Birch feathers are naturally repel water, and that's something people don't understand. A, a, a little uh, a chick that hands, uh, hatches out of an egg, like a little duckling, repels water at, with down. But as they grow feathers, they naturally repel water. And the way feathers work is they have barbule hooklets and little barbulets, and they hook together very tight. And it's so tightly like Velcro together on each, each feather that... Um, uh, what happens is the, it's so tight that the, the tension of it will not allow the molecules of water to go through. And because the feathers are naturally clean, water beads off it, you know, water off a duck's back. So what happens when these birds are in the harbors and places where there's street runoff and fish oil from fishing processing plants and garbage and things like that that are greasy that float on the surface, these animals get that on their feathers and they get kind of dirty. So a, uh, a bird that's not waterproof is a dirty bird. And so when they get dirty and they get wet, these pelicans sometimes can sit in the sun like today and dry off and just keep feeding and go back and forth. And they can deal with it to a certain extent. But when the rains are really pounding and they're getting soaking wet, they become hypothermic because that insulation is all gone and the feathers open up. The water gets through the way we describe it to people. is like you have a wetsuit and all of a sudden you have a hole in it and cold it, water gets through. Well, they can't stay warm very long. So what happened with these storms, they went for a week of being pounded with rain, and they're already wet from pollution, from our pollution. And then, um, and they just couldn't keep up with it. So we got a lot of really weak, cold birds. So this bird right here is a waterproof bird. It's a pelican that just jumped out of the water. He floats on the water, when he gets out the water, just drips off. And that's how you can tell. And um, when they're wet, they literally are wet, and they almost look like you can wring them out. And um, so that's the difference. These are all waterproof birds. They've been sitting in the sun. You can see their feathers. Uh, well, they're dry right now, but the water beads off of them. They're jumping in and out of the water like this pelican and, um, and floating high like a boat and comfortable. The ones that are out there that um, get wet get in there and they float for a while, but then they start going down. And if their wings get wet, then they really have trouble getting out of the water because they have a lot of weight they have to pull out. That's when they start succumbing to hypothermia.